Today we are making the piston valve uh, for the steam engine and um, what the piston valve is, is it's going to uh, inside on the side of the engine there's a valve body assembly and um, inside that valve body is a piston that goes up and down and this piston will direct steam to the, either the top or the bottom of the cylinder and uh, I'm actually making it before I'm making the, the valve body because um, uh, my furnace is undergoing some maintenance right now and uh, I got nothing to do and I wanted to make some progress on this project so I'm making this piston rod so I got a piece of uh, I think it's two and five eighths uh, cast iron stock and I got it in a I got it in a steady rest over yonder and uh, the surface that the steady rests on isn't really the best so I kind of faced it or kind of turned it a little bit but it was chattering a little bit so it's going to be a little bit noisy when I turn it on so we're going to face this off <laughs> Let's see if I'm on center first. Yep. So now I'm going to turn this down. To uh, uh, one and a quarter inches, a little under that. I was getting a terrible surface finish, so I'm just going to. Uh, I just put a center at the end of it. I'm just going to machine this to center it to get a nice surface. There we go, that's much better. I probably don't need the center now, but I'm going to keep it in anyway, it's not in the way. This should be our last pass. Just taking off 14 thousandths. And then that'll bring us to be, <clears throat> I just want to be a couple foul under an inch and a quarter. See how hot that is? It's a little warm. Sometimes the heat will make it expand in diameter just a thousand or two. So, uh, let's bring this back and pull the camera up. That is 250 on the nose. What's here? 250 on the nose. Uh, let me do that one again. That's 249. That's 250, so it's about a thou smaller over here. So let's get some emery cloth. Two thou. That's what I want. I want about two thou. Two thou. Two thou. Perfect. Okay. So next we're gonna um, <clears throat> we're gonna cut the. There's a relief in the middle of this. Okay. I have a radius tool, just a high speed tool, and it's three eighths wide. So we're just going to touch off on the side, and this isn't super critical. Uh, let's 
bring my indicator in and then zero it and then we're gonna go over 375 one two three seventy five so because uh, we're gonna make this shoulder with respect to this side of the tool so the shoulder width let me look at my drawing it's uh, 313 313 thousandths which I think is 5 sixteenths yeah 3.1 uh, 3125 so we're gonna go over let me zero this again I'm gonna go over three one two five one two three and then just gonna tap it in one two five all right now I'm gonna lock my carriage and uh, we are going to carve this out uh, so I'm going to see if I can, I still need to make the mark over here for the other shoulder, but I'm going to see if I can plunge in enough so I can get a line. Let me uh, slow this down. Just a rough. All right, we need to go another hundred thou. Perfect. Wow, that's really out of the money. Some chatter marks there because, uh, you know, wide radius type of thing. But actually, that looks great. So now we're gonna, oops, sorry. We're getting rid of this anyway. Now we're gonna go to the other side and uh, do the same thing on the other side, and then we're just gonna get rid of stock in the middle. Okay, so now we need to get to the other shoulder spot and that we're gonna go over uh, point eight one two five so one two three four five six seven eight and then one two five we're gonna lock the carriage. Ugh. All right, let's plunge. Sometimes when you have chatter, you really just need to push harder and go faster as crazy as that sounds wow that whew, that stopped right on the money I'm super I, that was all by eye I am super impressed with myself <laughs> alright so now I'm just gonna try to turn away all this stuff in the middle uh, I think I'm just gonna use the same tool for that This is speed it up.
Oh, that looks nice. A little bit of chatter over here, but that doesn't matter at all. Let me see if I can clean that up. There we go. That's better. I'll polish it a little bit when I'm when I'm done with it actually. So alright, next uh, we just need to cut the grooves for the, the piston rings and then we need to drill and tap a hole and then we'll be done. Okay, so I have um, the cutter in the necessary position for the first piston ring groove and we're gonna go in 70,000. Let me just touch off. There we go. So we're at 25. I'm gonna plunge in 70 thou on each side, so let it go until we hit 95. Oh! Lots of chatter. I don't have a good way to uh, measure this, but so this is this is what I usually do. It gets it close enough. Uh, almost there. We got about ten thousand. Let me slow this down. All right. Let's try that. Perfect. Okay, uh, I'm actually on hold on the phone at the moment, so I'm going to do the rest of these off camera. Uh, it's the same process. Alright, so I got these other grooves in, and uh, they're pretty much, they're spaced a tool width apart. This is a sixteenth of an inch, so when I was at this one, I just moved over uh, an eighth to get to the next spot. Uh, and then I touched off over here, moved over an eighth. Uh, and then, yeah, so I did that. So now I need to, we're going to drill and tap this 5 sixteenths by 24. And to do that, we have a letter I drill bit. So we're just going to go in here. I actually got to speed this up. That's going way too slow. Gonna, I'm just going to spin the lathe over by hand. It's, it's just pulling in the tailstock right now. I could do it under power, but it's easy enough to do it like this. Chips. Just gotta be careful not to have too much oomph when I get to the end. I think that should be enough thread. And there it is. Let's just deburr that a little bit. Alright, just need to part this off. Alright, time to part this baby off. So here it is. It's all done. Um, so we're going to make piston rings for this as well. This is going to get four. We're going to make them the same way we did the piston rings on the piston. Uh, 
in the actual engine. So this guy is gonna, the part isn't made for where it goes yet. Uh, but there's going to be a piece on here called the valve body and it's going to make these passages kind of go out and in and then this guy is going to move back and forth it's going to be timed to the crankshaft and it's going to let steam in one port and out the other so when it's down here this steam will go through this opening in the spool uh, it'll come through this this part here in here through this opening in the spool and then into the cylinder on the bottom and at the same time this port is above the top of this valve and steam is allowed to be pushed up and then out and then on the valve body there will be exhaust ports on, e on either side uh, so and the exhaust ports will be closed when this is uh, in this position so when this is down letting steam in the exhaust port will be on the other side of this and will not be um, letting you know in the steam going right out the exhaust so uh, that's kinda how this is gonna work I made this now because I'm doing furnace maintenance and I don't have my cat the castings made so I but I wanted to do something so that's what I did so that's gonna be it for this video thanks for watching guys I'll see you later